Evangelion, eight, right? Like seven, that's how they did it. Six, five, four, All right. three, three, two, two one. one. Fight, fight. Robots, fight. Robots, fight. Oh, oh, and oh, Son no. of Cram has crossed the box. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, so I see. I see. Into, uh, Fluffy said this match did not actually start yet. The timer is not happening. So please go back to your respective squares until we get that figured out. Looks like we're going to reset this match here. Nice work, Fluffy. That was some quick, quick You've work. Got a fan of Fluffy. Yeah. In the audience. Hey, Fluffy. Oh my gosh! There's oh, a Fluffy, hey, the Fluffy sign. sign. I love it. What? Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. I Eight, really want that sign. Seven, that six, is great. I'll literally five, put it on my wall. Four, That's great. Three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. And it sounds like go. we are officially starting this match now. Look at the weapon on Cannibal Mini. Oh no. A winner fights Whittle by Whittle. The loser is eliminated. And right now, Cannibal Mini stuck on their head, trying to self right with that self writing stick. They're back up and running. David Small and Son of Cram just trying to stay as on top of them as humanly possible. Son of Cram moving a lot better than it was last time that we saw it. Oof. Oh. Big hit there. That was weapon to weapon impact. And it looks like Son of Cram is dazed over there in the corner. Meanwhile, Cannibal Mini desperately trying to get back onto its wheels. That angled stick on Cannibal Mini is supposed to help them self-right when they are upside down. Right now, having a hard time getting back onto the wheels. Looks like that stick might have been bent a little bit out of shape. Fluffy, they're allowed to come in and give one assist. This might be the assist they give. And there you go. You, everybody gets one. That was the Fluffy assist for Cannibal Mini. And they are now fully functional and operational and uh, on their head again. Oh, no. Okay. That's a tough one. That's a tough one to be at. Seems like those saw blades that they use as, the, uh, as those rabbit ears are just kind of folded to the side. Yeah, a little flop. They got a little flop going on. This is really valuable testing for this design, though, because, I mean, you need to... Be able to get yourself out of uh, you know, hey! self-writing. Nice work there. That wow, was a very was successful. Difficult self-write, but they handled it. Son of Cram, their right side drive chain not working at oh, all. Oh, no! Oh, I see a belt coming out of Son of Cram. Is this controlled movement, Kyle? No. No, it is not. No hesitation from me there. Nice. Big hit. 30 seconds left on the clock. Nice I job. Cannibal Mini really does have that self writing dialed in now. I don't know if this is motion here, Kyle. I don't think it is. But judges don't push buttons around here. It is what it is. So we're just going to watch this fight till the end, and then the judges will get to tell us who won anyway. Wow. Okay. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. That's the end of the match. Turn off your weapon, Cannibal Mini, and drive to the door. This one will go to the judges, but I feel like it's a pretty one-sided decision. Got a shot here of David Small with Son of Cram. Losers bracket round three. One of these robots will be going home shortly. I think it may be David Small and Son of Cram. Yeah. Now, uh, first off, before we do that, I just want to say, that uh, I went and I, I asked to borrow this fluffy sign from the audience. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, all right, you ready? Look at this. Look at this sign. They love the sign, Kyle. I mean, what's not to love about that? He I, says borrow. I watched him rip it out of the hands of someone. They were like, the please, no. And I was like, no. yes, give it to me. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this sign. This is great, all right? Maybe I mean, I'll just leave it, leave it here at the desk as you're on your way out. I'm, I'm putting this up in my office for sure. This is fantastic. 
Okay, uh, looks like we have an important update from Jim Haney. Uh, let's see, do you want to take my, my mic? Here you go. All right, good evening, everyone. Sorry for the brief interruption. I just wanted to come on and let you know that the referee staff has reviewed the Kitten Mittens versus Other Disco fight. We decided that Other Disco had a false start of 2.5 seconds. They'll be forfeited for that fight. That is all, thank you. Whoa. Okay, all right. Uh... Other Disco. Was it, wait, no, other, no, it was Disco versus Kitten Mittens. Correct. And they've now. I'm so confused that this, something about this isn't making much sense. Let's see here. Hold on. They reversed that decision. Yeah, it was Disco, Disco versus Mojave. Mojave, and yeah. Mojave okay. versus Bobby. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Disco versus Mojave makes a little bit more sense. Um, yeah, so, interesting, so, um, yeah, Kitten Mint wasn't involved in that, just to be clear, so it was the, the match between Disco and Mojave that they're now changing the decision on, so will that mean, does that mean that Mojave will now be facing Hot Leaf Juice? Wow. Huh. Okay. Uh, all right, while we figure that out, let's uh, go check out some of our Norwalk Havoc tournament basics here. If this is your first time tuning in, if uh, you have found us somehow on YouTube and you are delighted, this is uh, what's going on. We are fighting in three weight classes today, the beetle weights, the three pounders, the 12 pounders, and the 30 pounders. Now we are running three separate tournaments. Each weight class obviously has its own bracket. And we are giving away $50,000 in cash by the end of the night. First place winners uh, will go home $10,000 for the three pounders, $12,000 for the tw uh, for the 12 pounders, and $15,000 for the 30 pounders. Runners up, second place, 4,000, 4,000, and 5,000. Now, uh, these are three minute matches, and uh, the matches end by either uh, tap out, by knockout, or by judge's decision. Um, we saw, you know, we've seen a lot of three minute matches here today because these are the finals for the year. This is the biggest competition of the year here in Norwalk. These are the best of the best robots from across North America. They've flown in from all corners of the continent to compete here in Connecticut today. Oh, dude. Wow. Oh, there is fire. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, okay, good. All right. I thought it was maybe uncontained fire. It's just a robot that is uh, testing itself. Here yeah, in the box. that's allowed. That's totally allowed. Better now, they do uh, it here. Control, quick question. I know that we're nearing six o'clock. Are we going to be entering prime time? Trying to get an answer on that. In the meantime. Okay. All right, so when we finish round three, we'll be going over into prime time. Uh, is that round three of the three-pound division? I'm not sure. Looks like they're changing out the floor. Ah, oh, got it. Round three of all brackets will be going into prime time for round two and one of the remaining brackets, so I think that's great. That's going to be fun. Let's check in on our friend Lindsay. Lindsay, what's going on in the chat? How are those guys feeling? There's been some controversy. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of people who originally during that match thought that other disco had a false start. So when the DQ happened, a lot of people said, I knew it, good oh, wow. call. So, you know, that the chat is happy about that. But we have another super chat. Oh. And this is from YouTube user Flurb McGurb. Okay. I don't know if this is who we caught napping in the pits earlier, but uh, he said, how y'all gonna film a man just trying to take a nap? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I blame Luke. Flurb, listen, it's okay? Fair. I, listen, we we needed to just check on this, this person's uh, health and safety, okay? All right. Yeah. So just for clarification on everybody, the, the fight in question was Other Disco versus Litterbox, uh, okay. where it was Other Disco that had a false start against Litterbox. So Litterbox is actually moving on. They will be oh. facing Megatron in the next round. Wow. Uh, Jim was mistaken when he said Kitten Mittens. That was okay. incorrect. It was Litterbox. Right. Kittens, litter, I get it. I see where the confusion <laughs> happened. Okay. Uh, but that is, that is what happened. I just wanted to make sure everybody was clear on that so we're not all confused in the chat. Uh, that is in the 30-pound division, not in the 12-pound division. 
Got I just it. saw the change in the bracket, so that confirms it for everybody. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so sorry, Lindsay. I, I did you have another question for us? Did we lose her? We might have lost Lindsay. Yeah. Now the interesting thing about this matchup is that Megatron has faced Dominic, well, will face Dominic Yankaskis two times in a row with essentially a very similar design. That's right. Dominic is running horizontals for both. Uh, Jameson Go was able to defeat Tryhard. We're going to see if uh, he can do it again with Litterbox. It's going to be very interesting, and uh, there's some repair work that has to be done on Litterbox before that fight happens for sure. All right, uh, we're going to go over to the judges. Son of Cram versus Campbell Mini. This was such a one-sided match that I almost forgot that we had to go to the judges. <laughs> I wonder if the judges will uh, will agree with me. Uh, let's uh, let's see your scores here. Oh my! Oh, oh, it's one-sided, Kyle. A little bit, yeah. Wow, Peter, that is a Peter, decisive win. Peter, for... can I ask you why you gave three control points to Son of Cram? What was your thinking?